Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. I'm John Skinner, and this week's video tip deals with dropper lures. I've been seeing a lot of sand eels, both uh, along the beach and out in the boat. When there's a lot of sand eels, especially small ones like what I've been seeing, uh, stripers can get really picky. And one of the things you can do to get them to hit is to run a dropper lure ahead of your main lure. Uh, this is a, an excellent choice for a dropper lure. This is a red gill teaser. Um, you can imagine why, if the fish are on sand eels, this is going to work well because it's just a beautiful imitation. Okay, so rigging this up as a teaser ahead of your main lure. Um, here I've got one of my leaders, and in a previous video I showed how uh, at the head of the leader I've got a barrel swivel. So we're going to take advantage of that. Uh, first off, if you use leader material as opposed to monofilament, that's going to work to your advantage because it's a little bit stiffer and it's better suited uh, for this application. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'd like to get about a six inch space between um, the dropper lure itself and the end of the dropper leader. And what I'm going to do is put a loop in there, and it's just a single loop. This is very simple. I've not had one of these fail ever, and I've used these things since I was a kid. Okay, so just a s simple loop in there. That's going to be from the tip of the loop to the lure, it's going to be about six inches. I need to trim this little piece back. Now what that loop is going to do for us is two things. One is it's going to make it really convenient to change droppers or add a dropper or subtract one, whatever, without having to cut into the main line. I really like to avoid um, tying knots when I'm on the water, so anything I can do to minimize that is a good thing. Um, Alright, to attach this it's very simple. Just push it through the bottom eye of the swivel, run your lure through the, the main loop, and then you just pull it tight. That's it. It's done. Now, it not only makes, the loop not only makes um, adding and subtracting a teaser easy, here's the real nice advantage. If you can look if I can get this right on the video to have it look straight down, uh, that loop causes the dropper lure to stand out off the main line and that's extremely important because one of the issues uh, when you're casting and, and retrieving is that the dropper can wrap the main line. But with the loop acting as a standout off that main line, uh, that works out very nicely. So. Uh, that's my video tip for the week, and uh, when you see the sand eels, consider adding a dropper lure, and if you do it in this fashion, you'll have a lot of flexibility, and uh, it will function very well. Okay, talk to you next week. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.